When you open Figma, there are so many frame options to choose from. Which frame size do you have to choose for your designs? There are no strict rules about which frame size to use. There are a lot of different screen sizes in the world, and you cannot match all of them. The question is how to make sure your interface looks good on any screen size. Let's start with mobile. While working on a mobile layout, I recommend you to choose the size that matches your smartphone screen. Why? Because you should test your layouts in 100% scale on the device that they are made for. You can test your mobile layouts with the Figma application. To make sure you see the layouts in 100% scale, they should match the size of the screen that you use for the test. Why do we want to test the layouts in 100%? This way we can be sure that all the sizes look good, text is convenient to read and buttons are big enough to touch. I've made the mistake of not checking the layouts in 100% preview myself when I was a younger designer. I was working on a small laptop and my preview was smaller than the actual layout. When the developers have implemented my designs, it turned out that the sizes of the elements are much bigger than I have planned. So don't repeat my mistake. Also sometimes I see mobile interfaces with very small touch targets. It might happen because the designers haven't checked the layouts on smartphones in an actual size. What about desktop frames? Which one to choose? And how many different sizes should we provide? I prefer to design for a small desktop. It's easy to fit everything on a big screen, but we need to make sure that everything works well on a small screen as well. I usually use 1280 pixels width for the desktop frames and a fixed grid. We will discuss grids in the future videos and I will provide you with a design system that has a grid that I am using. If it's not obvious from the layouts, I also provide the layouts for a big wide screen and a small tablet in a portrait mode. Using small frame is my preference. If you find it's more convenient to use a bigger frame, you can totally do this. The only important thing is that you make sure it looks good on both small and big screens.